give me one or two seconds. They go on to our talk. Before I do this, Michael doesn't need any introduction. I'm going on the, the laptop to open up the slides because Michael offered to do the recognition tonight. He's so proud. He did offer. You, you, you offered. Michael, play along with me. <laughs> Michael, I mean, you'll go horribly wrong then. Tonight. Um, I thought I was letting you off lightly. Because you've got another one tomorrow and then a live next week. So I thought, you know, what better person to do the recognition? And he is going to go away a wee bit early because he's partying with his neighbours. No. <laughs> Not at all. I didn't be partying. No, he's going to have to explain that. You didn't have to explain it, Michael. Nobody's no. partying at the minute. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm right, too give me a Right, give me a wee second to open up the recognition, Michael, and then it's over to you as soon as you yeah. see the slides. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Where am I looking? <laughs> Let me just Hello, like, Forbesy. Like for the recognition, you don't have to, I love this better, you don't have to unmute yourselves because, although there might be a little bit of background noise, Michael just needs to shout loud. Um, because of recognition, it's important that we clap and make a noise and say well done and cheer because this is our first month in the lockdown and I think the results have been phenomenal. So let me just share the screen and Michael's going to go through the recognition. We start with the retail and we'll end with the retail for the year, just so you know what order it's going in, Michael. So, over to you. Okay, what am I supposed to do? <laughs> Can you see? Uh, I, don't worry, I'll press the buttons for you, just like I usually do. Oh, okay. So. <laughs> top, top, top 20 detailers for period four, and I'm going to bring them one at a time, and you're going to recommend okay. them. You have oh. to see. So, our top 20 retailers for period four. <laughs> Stephen <laughs> Payton, number one, Ali Lloyd and Jeff Locke, Stacey Maddox. Crispin and Eileen Safali, Rana Pasco, Louise Rennick, Mark Ringland, <laughs> Chris and Janie Moore. Yay! Yay! There's more, Michael. You just do the same thing over and over again, okay? Okay. Mary Stewart, Amanda and Nigel Oliver, Claire Mary, Sarah Salisbury. <laughs> David Cadman, Cynthia Millard, Paul Melville, Tony and Jules White for Sulo. Stacey and Jonathan Beck. That's the top two of you guys. Well. Yeah. I'm not an open webinar, but I'm still going to say well done to my team. And you say well done to your team. Well done, everybody. Fantastic. Yeah, no, oh, sorry, I'm meant to shut up. <laughs> That's unlikely. <laughs> uh, so, Viva NK Stars, Frank Devine, Jeffrey Margrave, Val, Mark and Val Coburn, David Cadman, Ian Sharp, uh, Paul Melville. Graham uh, Stewart Ball. Oh. <laughs> is that the Graham? Is that misspelling or is it as Ball? Graham Stewart Ball. Is that right? Oh. I think so. Alexander Glasgow, Rob Worrell, <laughs> Ian Jonathan Beck, and Arthur and Caroline Grimm. Oh, hey. <laughs> well done, everybody. Absolutely. Yvonne Niesel, Rosina Pocock, Chris and Jenny Moore, Mary Stewart, Janet Lyle and Stephen Rees, Richard Kent, Ron Pascoe and Eileen and Crispy, Crispin Safali. And this is Star One Thousand, Michael. Oh, Louise Rennick, Sue and Jeff, Jeff Burroughs, Stacey Maddox, Emma and Jessica McElgum. Hooray! Sarah Salisbury, yay! Hey. Kim Thresh, yay! Kimbo. You're used to doing this live, you look like a fish out of water. <laughs> yes, uh, it's only been 22 years of doing recognition, yeah, some things don't change. You've MK Star 2000. That's the one. Mike and Jean Day, Tom and Kate Forbesy, Paul Brown, Tony and Jules White for Sulo, Dave Rosie Bibby, Jeff and Diane Owen, Stephen Payton, and Ali Lloyd and Jeff Locke. Wow. Yes. I think that says 
Lynn McDonald. <laughs> I can hey. imagine the name. Hi, Tim. 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 From September 2019, I'm going to bring them all out and then you can go through them. Oh, great, thank you. Of them. This, is the top, <laughs> this is the top, this is the top, this is the top offer. <laughs> no, 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 I did, yes. Ali Lloyd and Jeff Locke, of course, um, over £16,000 worth of sales oh, wow. since we relaunched in September. And you must remember the last six weeks or so of that, mm -hmm. um, sales in general have change a lot so that's a very very good number Stephen Payton Melvin Nash of course Janet Lyle and Steve Reese well done to you Tom and Kate Forbes Michelle and Brian Hewitt Alison Beale and Jeff Alt Bob and Rosemary Hardy congratulations to you Stacey Maddox and of course Sharon and Craig Davis um, so this was like I say from September 2019 to last Wednesday um, and considering, and don't forget, when we launched in September, we had a catalog that was about as thick as that. Um, and our first few product offerings for a good few weeks were, you know, we only had 20 or 30 products. So those numbers are, are very, very impressive. And it did pick up very, very quickly. So well done to all of you. Now you just, um, you were going to... Just say a couple things, or is that you finished? Yeah. You just want to watch now? Pardon me? You finished, or do you just want to watch now? I still don't know what you mean. Did you say you want me to say something? No, I said something. <laughs> <laughs> um, floor, 22 years, they still can't understand me. Do you, want, do you want to say anything else, or are you finished now? You would just like to watch? Uh, no, I can just, what well, I mean, I am. Um, no, I just wanted to say thank you to everybody. I mean, we've entered in this era that nobody knows how it bloody well arrived, what the hell we're doing or what's going on in the world generally. I know we hear it on the news, but you don't know from day by day what is actually happening. So everything that we've done in Viva, that you've done with us in our collaboration and partnership, we've literally been making it up as we're going along because nobody knows what's going to happen next, which is why I had to take a stand last week and say, June the 1st, we've got to prepare for that. Now, it may be before that, we may have to adapt that date but if i don't focus on a date we can't start preparing what we need to do to get back to what might be called normal business so you know tomorrow we'll launch the first phase of that of what we want to do to implement to make sure that we're ready by the first of june and i know some people are already <coughs> um, doing what we do best which is of course catalogs and, and so on um but the 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 the, fa the 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 actual transition from where we are to where we've got to be there's a lot of things to do and we'll start revealing some of that as the next few days go on how we have to adapt the business change it and and evolve it to go forward and like i say we will follow guidelines of course we will um but we have to focus on that date and i'll tell you more about that tomorrow um you know but like i say thank you to everybody because uh, when, when all this started on the 23rd of March, I think Boris did his first um, lockdown um, talk uh, announcement. None of us knew when we went into the office on Tuesday, although we've been preparing for something, none of us were expecting the way that it happened. So together we've worked it very, very well. You've all adapted what you do. You're all evolving as each day goes by. The online presence that you have, whichever way you do it, is absolutely phenomenal. And the people that I'm looking at here, so many of you have got an online presence, whether it's through social media, whether it's through our shop, whether it's through other portals such as eBay and Amazon, whichever way it is, you're shifting a lot of product, considering some of us didn't even expect a single sale as we went into lockdown. So I'll let you have more information tomorrow about 
um, what we're intending to do to adapt and change the business to go forward because we all have to do that. There's going to be lots of changes in the country, in business, in everything that we know and we have to be ahead of all that. So that's it really. I just wanted to thank everybody and uh, you know, thank you for doing what you do and all the support you're giving each other. It's a very monumentous time in that way. Over to you Lynn. Yeah, I'm very fortunate. Thanks very much, Michael. I do, I do feel that we're really, let's just put it on the gallery view because I'm on my laptop and I like to see everybody. <clears throat> I don't know about anybody else, but I do believe we're very, very fortunate. I didn't think for one minute that we would still have DPD doing our delivery yeah. in the products and coming early. <laughs> Guy keeps saying to me when he brings more, but I said, oh, expect you the now and he said in that every time I deliver they're coming early the products which is great right what I'm going to ask is that well what I will do in a wee moment for Trisha doing her training is I am going to mute everybody and if you do have questions if you could save them to the end um just as a wee bit nervous um it's a fabulous training she's put together herself for you tonight um, but as Michael was saying, the, the online side, a lot of us have got a good presence. Um, most of us, I think, on tonight are selling online. Somebody said to me tonight, I've just set up my shop, which got me excited. Um, so what um, Trisha, um, well, Trisha did a party, but we've been doing it for a long time. Uh, Louise does a lot of parties, and I will recognise Louise at this stage because we normally did parties uh, live. <laughs> right, sometimes you've got your jammies on, sometimes you've got your hair tied back, sometimes you want to stuff your face with chocolate, sometimes you've got a big humongous glass of wine, or sometimes you just have an ugly day, which is me every day at the moment. <laughs> uh, so Louise did a party where she didn't go live and we were like, what? You didn't go live? Um, and it went absolutely fantastic and it went so well it became an integral part of our system. So thanks to Louise for the, the online, offline party, if that makes sense. And Trisha did one last week with almost a hundred pound in sales for one hour's work. I'm going to mute everybody now. Just mute. Um, I'll unmute you, Trisha, in a moment. Mute all. Oh. I'm muting everybody. Um, and Trish, I'm just going to uh, share the screen, hand over to Trisha. Um, Trisha's going to do her um, how to party training. Unmute you. Oh, I've got to unmute you, haven't I? Let me just manage my purpose. Can you unmute yourself, Trisha? You can, you can unmute yourself. Okay. Before you get started, Trisha, I'm just going to check the mute buttons because I hear a wee bit of background noise. Um, and it's just for the recording because these go out to the people who can't make it. Uh, not they must have started to do it, it must have been an accident. I will mute myself as well, which you'll all be delighted about. And it's over to you, Trisha. Thanks very much. Okay, hi everybody. Um, if I'm speaking too fast, just let me know because I tend to like, go a wee bit faster when I'm a bit nervous. So, setting up your event, um, always set your event up. Lynn, could you go to the next one, please? Right, okay. Always set your event up. Oh, hold on, too far. Right. Always set your event up in your online group and then you can copy the link into your timeline for people who are not in your group to see it. Set it as a private event. This gives you control and who you want to invite. When you look at the... Could you go back a wee bit? Thanks. If you go to the left-hand side in your group, you can see the events part there, I put a wee arrow there, and then it says under there, Lynn, it's just create event. So if you can create your event, then you can put a collage of the of our products. Nobody wants to see pictures of you and your dogs and things like that. They want to see exactly what it is you're selling. And the event name, make sure you use wording that people want to join. For example, what I say is we refresh your home with Eva MK. 
always get your Viva MP name out there as well. Be creative with it because people want to know what's in it for them. In the description, tell people what you have to offer. Put sale items, special offers, make it fun, fun and games. This is the most important part of setting up the event as it's your shop window. People will want to know what the party is for and make it fun. Okay, I've just done a wee test there so that you can see. So you can invite all your friends, you can invite your guests, but don't send too many out at once because it could be seen as spamming. What I usually do is just invite family and friends to begin with because you know they are going to give you, they'll give you orders and they'll be truthful with you if it's working or not. Then your customers will have We'll have the option, we're going too fast here. When the customer, your customers will have the option to either say they are going, maybe are unable to attend. Always reply through Messenger and send even WhatsApp, text. Send the link to your shop and even to the people who say they're not going to be able to make it because they might still want to buy but they just can't make it at that time. Now that you've set up the event and sent the invites out, it's very important to plan what products you want to post. It makes it so much easier during the event. You know your customers and you know what they like. Before the party, in the run up to the party, try to post every day, keep it active and keep interaction with it as well. Post the information about the party, about how the party works and what they'll need. There are loads of ideas on Google Images and Pinterest. Hey, I'm having a party. Just let people know that you're having the party and put it on your timeline as well. Just let people know, promote it as much as you can. Let people know as well what exactly is going to happen when you're at the party. And you can put pictures up as well. That's even better because people tend to look at pictures more than text. And then what you'll need you can tell them to have their comfies. Before the party, what to do is next. Get excited, the party starts tomorrow. And then just keep posting as well. Just tell people the party starts in an hour, just so that they know and it keeps your, the event live as well. During the party, post fun pictures to keep interaction going. I like the game, the roll call one, because uh, the post the selfie, because it's good to actually see the people who are in the party as well, good to see their pictures. And then if somebody comes in a wee bit late, just tell them to scroll down and see what's already posted. But don't do too many of these because you want people interacting on your products, not just on like, the interactive posts. When the party is finished, if you're look, we're always looking for hostesses or hostess hosts. So let people know. Offer free gifts as well because people love free gifts. So they do. Um, and you organise everything for them. They don't have to do anything. And always, always say that you're recruiting. And then just tell them you're putting your order through, the last day you order, ask if they're needing anything and that. Even after the event's finished, people still have a look at it. If they can't actually look at it live, it's still running. So they'll be able to see everything that you've been posting in the group, in the event. So tell everybody that you, when your order's going through and ask if they're needing anything. And just make it fun. That's all you do. Just make it fun. And thank you. That's me. That was really quick. Let me unmute everybody first so we can give you a nice big round of applause. Well done. Well done. Well done, Tessa. Well done, Tessa. Right. Fabulous. The questions. Well done, well done. Um, that was Tessa's first time, I think, doing a Zoom trainer. So. Yeah. Let's just really appreciate that. Any questions? I'm pretty sure there'll be questions. Come on. How often do you do the classes, Tricia? Got it. 
I've How often do you do the parties? Ideally, you should. Um, I'm aiming to do one a week. One a week. Yeah, not just me though. I'm looking for hostesses as well to do one. So if you get one a week and you get two hundred and fifty pounds sales, that's true for the four week period. You've hit your target, your thousand. So that's what I'm planning. Is that one week of your own plus the customer one, uh, Trisha? Well, I'd rather do the this one, Lynn, um, uh, because then from then people want to join, want to do a part of themselves as well. Right, that broke up a wee bit. So you'd rather do a hostess one to get into uh, different, that's to get into a different marketplace. Does that get into their friends? Yeah, because it means if you do one for them, there's people on their parties who would want to do one as well. So that's what I'm aiming for. Excellent. You can keep us posted. I will do. <laughs> there's probably going to be questions about um, if anybody... Well, I might ask it because people seem a bit quiet at the minute. But I know that the question that people ask is, what do you give a hostess if a party for you, Trisha? Well, I would just say maybe even like something that costs around about ten pounds, something pretty. It all depends what kind of party they want, yeah, and customers like as well. Give them maybe a couple of options. <coughs> uh, I would give like maybe the uh, the wee purple or I would give something like that, something nice that they like. That's right That's a good idea, and um, it doesn't cost too much. And um, some people give away. A sliding scale or sometimes discount on their own sales, but I like that one because it's, inex it's inexpensive. There was a message from somebody that said, How do you do a party for someone else, Trisha? Right, um, when you get the hostess, um, you do all you do everything that you would do as if you're doing your own party, but then you would get them to send invites out to all their friends as well. So you would do like a save the date and then you would do like the party starts with like such and such a date. So I would do the party for them. Um, I would do it on my own group, but they would be the co-host. Ah, that's... So, okay. Go on, Louise, I think you're not saying not do it in your own group, but I just want... Louise shaking her head there, is that... No, 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 I wasn't shaking my head. I was just... Um... I was just thinking, right, okay, if you do it in your own group, that's that's fine, obviously, if the, the person is a customer in your own group, but if they set up the event separately themselves, you'll get a lot more people going to it that are in, in your group, so don't know what items you're selling. It just opens up a much wider group of people if that person, that hostess, sets up the role. Um, okay. Like, for them, I agree that, with that. I, 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 I agree with that. Group, if you set it up in your group, they won't can invite their friends if they are in your group. Uh, ah, but, ah, but the other thing, Louise, because I, I agree with that, by the way, because that's what I was thinking on the wall, so you get more access to the friends. Yeah. But when Trisha said that, I thought, oh, what a good way to get her friends, the person's friends, into your group. You have to join this group to join, but I do I do agree with what you're saying, but the other side of the coin is, oh, they'd have to join in order to see the party. Yeah. But what you, what you could do, Trisha, is you can share it on their wall, or set it up on their wall, and share it into your event. Um, but when you share things, when you share something from, bear in that mind, Michael, you, you need to bear this in mind when you share stuff from our wall into the support group. All the people who are in the support group who are on my friends list and uh, will see it. So if there's people, if there's people in VVMK that are not on my friends list, then it's, that's not deliberate, I love you all, um, then they wouldn't see it if it's shared. But some, but your group would, um, I see you, would that be the same in the group, Louise? Yeah, that's, that's why I thought... If you're sharing it in your group, yeah, if they're pals in the, I mean, you, your group, all your okay, so let me ask you your first question. Right, your first question. Um, that's why I post all my videos onto my page because then it's public. That's why. Then I, was I share it into the official group that way. Mm -hmm. um, because if I if I post them onto my timeline, I'd have to make that pub, that actual public as well. Because if I share from my group, it won't. It couldn't be seen in the official um, group if you weren't in my group. Page is the best way to be fair because page actually gives you quite a lot of additional benefits. That's why I set up my yeah. Facebook, my Facebook page called Lynn Max Online Parties 
that I mean, and and you can share. Just in, in case you don't know this, if you do do a party, you can share it into other groups that you are admin of. You can share on the, all your pages. I've got three or four pages, and you can share it onto your wall. So you can share it where you like to share it. Any other questions? Thanks for helping the elderly with these. Anybody else got any questions? Can I ask a question, please? If you yes, of course. Someone is hosting a party for you. Um, is it you or the hostess that sets up the party that sets sets up the event? No, I would set up the event for them. You set it up for them, right? Uh, I would do everything for them, and all they have to do is invite their friends. You right. can make them admin, can't you? So they uh, can invite. Yeah, they would have to be. Yeah, they would have to be. Yeah, right, that's, that's, yeah. That's all for that. Uh, so you make the madman and, and teach them how to invite. <coughs> Trisha, you probably agree with me here and Louise as well. The work isn't actually the party. The work is in the lead up to the party. It's in the promotion of the party. It's in teaching your hostess the best way to share. But just sometimes by, and I don't know what you think about this, Trisha, you know, if somebody did a 200 pound party or something, I might have a wee bit of slide and scale. Because it gives your hostess something to aim for. And they think, oh, if I get £200 in sales, she's going to give me 10% discount. Or, do you know what I mean? I, I don't give too much to me, though. But you say uh, they'll give them 10% and I would probably give them a free gift. Ah, right. Right, that makes sense. That makes sense now. I didn't know you gave them both because that... that oh. Sorry, folks. My dogs have escaped. For once, it isn't my dog. Talk amongst yourselves <laughs> while I kill two chihuahuas. Get in. They know, they know that everybody goes out in a minute and a half an hour for the lockdown for the National Health Service. And they're prepared. They back up. Sorry about that. Who was speaking before I got rudely interrupted? Hey, Trisha was, I think. Beautiful. <laughs> Any other questions? I'll come back to you. Can I, can I ask you about um, ice breakers? Hang on for a second, Kate. There's a wee bit of background noise. Let go. No, I just wanted to ask. I, I, I remember, Trish, I, I was on your party and I remember you, you had a post a selfie up to say hello or say hi on, on this post and stuff. But you also had a game as well. What sort of games do you normally use? Oh. <laughs> Do you hear that question, Trisha? What sort of games do you use? Could some of you mute yourself if you're not hang on a wee second? What I'm going to do is I'm going to um, just mute everybody if my phone allows me to do it. Um, there, there's just a wee bit of it's not allowing me to do it. If, if you could, everybody do me a massive favour and just if your background noise, if you could just click mute, you can unmute yourself to speak. Right, like, Trisha, sorry about that, Alan. You said you were going to tell us the party, party games? Uh, the one I've done was um, if you could get something free, what would it, what would it be? And there was quite a lot of folk, not like pretty, like free gifts or anything like that. It was just anything in general, what you want, what would you want free? And I get quite a few comments on that as well. Um, I just try to keep it interactive and keep it fun. That's, the That's actually a brilliant idea, Trisha, because you can go back to them and say, well, you could get that free, you know, <laughs> if you have a party. Um, <laughs> or get 10% discount. Mm -hmm. That's an excellent idea. Anybody else who's never done a party before got any questions about how you post the products? Do you use the videos? What, how you I've got a question in the chat. Sorry, Jane. There's a question in the chat. We'll take you, on. You go, on, and I'll check the chat. Thanks, Jane. Yeah, go on. That's okay. I've got a question, Trisha. Um, how do you do the parties? Do you show them the products and talk about them, like in real? And how many products do you show? If you talk about them and show them. Uh, they would, before the party, maybe a bit a day before, I give them a wee sneak peek of what I'm going to be posting. Um, I would suggest maybe about eight to ten products within the app. Real products, such okay. as well as just photographs. Coraline. Is it the actual products? Is everyone, everyone's asking or is no, it the photographs? Like, no, just, just pictures of the products. Just so you're just using photographs, Yvonne. Ah, yeah. okay. What you would do in your group? 
And videos, do you use videos sometimes, the demo videos? I have done, but I, had, I didn't put any in my group. I felt they were too long, the product demos. They were maybe about four or five minutes, and I thought that was too long for people to kind of like get away and watch a video, and then they would miss like, everything else that I was posting. Yeah, I'll have, well, I'm, I'm looking for videos for my training at the minute, so I will look through the official group and see if there's some shorter ones. There's some fab videos. Thanks, everybody, for sharing your videos. Um, that's really interesting. I mean, I, I did think about doing one. My friend's got a beauty shop and he's told me I can do a party in it. <laughs> there's about 5,000 folk in it, so I'm excited about that. And I thought videos might work, but that's a good point. Do you use videos, Louise, in your parties? Is Louise there? Louise? I'm here, but I forgot I was on mute. Um, All right. So, <laughs> um, so no, easy to mute you, then. <laughs> well, Scottish, you see, like you. Uh, <laughs> the um, I, haven't, I haven't actually, no, I haven't used a video as part of my party as such. No. It's just, I think Trisha's point is good, but I've seen some really snippy videos on the official group. Yes. So, uh, videos do. They t tend to get more interest, don't they? But that's really successful. Um, that's not very many products, like um, Trisha. Do you feel that that's enough? I, I especially just within an hour. As are you doing? How are you, if you're doing eight products in an hour, are you putting one product up and then doing interaction in between and chatting and then another product and spacing them out? I just but if, but. But you could, if you had products there, you could show them live products, so that, but you don't go live. In a live one, Yvonne, you could obviously, just like we do with what's in the box, we can show them. Uh, when, I, when I go live, I, I've never done a live party for a while, but when I go live, I do prefer to show them products. But the pictures work really amazing and it gets them used to that system. But the biggest yes. part is the fact that you can Does anybody do a live party? Sorry, go on, Sarah. Does anybody do a li live party? But the, the, then the box demonstrations tend to, to take over from then. Because no, I, I, al I always do mine live. I do like a um, house party. So if that, instead of going around somebody's house, I um, do the party with them. They invite the people they would have invited to at home. And I do my demo, which they suggested whether it's me getting a stain off a carpet or whether it's whatever mm -hmm. um, and I do it that way and show that that's, product that's plus then I idea. also do other products. Well anytime that's I'm doing a party I always have the products with me and I always yeah. live. I, sh I show products as well it's just that I, I well it might be just me but I prefer to do them live. I seem to get more sales from live than I do um, other ones. Yeah, what, what, I do, what I do know, Sarah, is uh, Facebook do say that, uh, but I, I see questions, so don't worry. I will, these questions mm. that are in the chat, I'll say them out loud because other people might be thinking them. But just if it's, uh, videos get three times more interaction on Facebook, and live does get attracts a lot of more people. I mean, the things that people are watching live at the moment, I mean, Richard McCann was lights in his garden i mean come on we're bored <laughs> so the videos will do great at the minute um but that's for the live and I, I i would agree with sarah if you're doing any type of demonstration for anybody whether it's in their home or just showing them the stain remover um do it live brilliant definitely live gets more interaction somebody else there was questions in the chat box i think it was louise answered it but i think it was can you use the sale products and that's yes, of course you can. You can use right. any products that either. you want. Now, just, what I will say is Michael needs to get off it um, in about two minutes. Are you still there, Michael? I know that you need to go about 22 and if we keep chatting, I'll forget to say go and then you'll disappear and I'll feel guilty we never said bye-bye. <laughs> but um, before Michael goes, I want everybody to say thanks so much to him. He's working really hard and he's popping up. I called it a pop-up Zoom and that was to let you off the hook, Michael, because I know you're getting asked to do this, that and the next thing. I was being really kind to you. But he's, he's, he comes in these lives for us, um, which is excellent. I'm pretty sure by the end of lockdown, we'll have you sold on Zoom. You're on mute. 
You're on mute, Michael, which is great at times, but not at the moment. <laughs> it's because I'm Scottish as well. Um, uh, yes, uh, Zooms I'm getting used to. I've not really done Zooms before lockdown, and I was always against the principle because I prefer face-to-face -face meetings. Um, but obviously, it's just an absolute godsend, isn't it? It has been well for the whole world, let alone for us. So listen, yeah, thank you everybody. Really appreciate what everybody's doing. Can't thank you enough. This is not a, a one person business. It only works when we're all together as you keep to hear me bleating about time and time again. There's never been a time when being together works better than it does today. So thank you for everything. It really is getting us through, definitely. Thank you, Lynn. Thank you, Michael, and we'll see you tomorrow night on sports training. Oh, right. <laughs> seven, is it seven, Scott? Scott, yes, tomorrow night? Yes, it is, yeah. Seven o'clock. Seven o'clock. Yeah, Thanks, Michael. We'll see you Thank there. Yeah. We'll, we'll continue till oh, eight. Bye, Bye. Thank you to everybody. Bye. 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 He's still there. I, I was I was making him go because he said I had to go at 22, so I was making him go. There's been lots and lots of good questions. I'll just check the chat to make sure there's not any more. Um, you could, anybody else want to ask any questions? It's fairly straightforward. Does everybody know how to create an event? Yeah, I just I would like to also ask Trisha um, how how long you would normally you would normally leave your party available after the party for people if you had special offers and stuff how long you would leave those offers live for the, for the people that maybe couldn't attend or they wanted to revisit the party the last one i done um, i left it for 24 hours i left it open and i was still posting products after the event was finished oh, right. yep mm -hmm. yep so it was kind of keeping the interest there as well so it was mm -hmm. I so I'm glad you said that, Trish, and I, uh, you asked that question, Kate, because I feel that that is you can get quite a lot of post-party sales as well as pre-party sales. But it's also why not stick up? Kevin's been doing some amazing wee tiny wee short videos. Maybe we should um, speak nicely to him about these wee tiny wee short flash videos with the products. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Sorry, you're on live. I didn't mean to put you on the spot, but. Um, you always put me on the spot. <laughs> I'm sorry, but you did some great little opportunity videos, but it's a great opportunity to, before and after the party to do a lot of prospecting and why not stick a video on and let it play their product demonstration after the video or a short um, personal opportunity presentation. Anybody else? Or any, if there's no questions, because we usually share some positive stories, uh, what's working for us this week. Can I just, Me, before you do that, can I just... We don't need to do that. I'm happy to take questions until we get to two minutes. Just before you do, Janet, we're going to do it slightly. You can see the fringe in my eye. It's driving me mad. Before we do the, the clap for the National Health tonight, I do believe that Colonel Tom, <laughs> Birthday Boy, the guy who's raised 30 million, has requested a two-minute silence for the National Health Service. So we will be silent. We will start to go out at, you know, about two minutes to, or we can do the silence in here, but I'm going to do the two minute silence because, man, take my hat off to them. These people are dying to save lives. Right, go on, Janet, thanks. Right, if you're posting eight products through the party, how many games or things like that do you do in between? I always do it one or two, Janet. I don't want to do too many. I would rather people seeing the products than actual play games and things, if you know what I mean. Okay. Louise, are you still there? Yeah. Are you got anything to add? Because I know that you've been doing them for a while. Um, no, really. I mean, like Trisha, I tend to leave mine live. I always tell them when it's staying up until. If I'm doing one at the end of the period, I tend to obviously only leave it till say 10 or 11 p.m. that night because I know I need to get more order on. Um, yes. So I've done I've done that before. I have tried 24 hour ones, but to be honest, I find if you're going to get orders after the party, most of them come in that night, like in the sort of few hours after it. I haven't really had many the next day, um, <clears throat> but. Um, I find they work really well. I mean, I haven't actually gone live in one for quite a wee while. Because <laughs> um, I've done them where I've gone live for a wee, maybe at the beginning and done 
that's right. For what be that? PR. It's a good, a good time to do them is when you've just had your delivery and you've got maybe a few products to hand sort of thing. You that's could almost right. even do even a mini what's in the box thing at the start of your party and then and then just switch off and go back to your your posting kind of thing. But um, if your party's quite interactive with people, like Trisha was saying, they're only posting sort of between eight to ten products. Um, which is probably about right, I think. I mean, I've done more than 10 sometimes. It just depends. But um, mm -hmm. if your party's very interactive, it's actually really hard to post mm -hmm. and watch for comments because you're constantly getting notifications and you're trying not to miss comments and then you're going back to your welcome post and you're well, you know what I mean? You're trying to yes. cover all bases sort of thing. Right. Um, so, you know, just... What I would say to anybody thinking of doing one is if you've got, say, 10 products set that you're wanting to post, don't get yourself too hung up if you only get to eight products and think, oh my God, I've only got five minutes left. You know, just, just go with the flow and however many you post is, Aye. that's the way it is sort of thing. Um, there's no point getting I... yourself anxious over it, but uh, it can be, it's good fun. I like doing them actually, I really do. And they generate a good wee bulk of sales at one time. Imagine if you're only doing one or two a week on top of your other online yeah. and on top of catalogues once they're doing them in bulk. I have got such a very big bag of eye. I hate that. <laughs> um, I'm not getting my sleep. But um, the, the other thing I was going to say, because um, what happened when Louise did that one that she didn't go live, we all go, ooh, this is exciting. I still like doing the live ones, pretty much as well as doing these ones. I prefer the non-live ones for the reason, in fact, that I can have my jammies on a glass of wine and I don't need to put my makeup on. But when you go live, you can cover a lot of products, um, just like Jane's in the box, for example. Jane does her in the box like she's almost doing a party. You could just turn that into a party, actually, Jane. You know, go live for your products. It doesn't take too long. The video stays in your group. You can share the video as a watch party at any time um, and you can save the video and put it elsewhere. Anybody else got anything they want to ask or a positive story? Yeah, I've, I've got something else to ask. How many well, yeah, question, more questions are better. I'll check the chat while you're asking, Janet. Okay, how, how many people do you need in your group to actually make it a worthwhile party? <clears throat> That group, that party I just had, Janet, there was only about five or six people. Mm. So there was... Um, Not in your group, at the party, oh, you mean? Right, at the actual party. Aye. Uh, aye, at the actual <coughs> party, there was only about five or six people. So there was, so it was easy to interact with them, and the orders came through brilliant. So they did. So. Excellent. You can, you so can that's only... So many people are in your group, Trisha, but you see if that uh, helps, Janet. 700 and something, nearly 800. It's not a massive group, really. It's an okay size group, but it's not massive, so you don't need the massive group, guys. Yeah, it's even pretty, 200. It's only got about 170 in it. <laughs> that, but I'm just about to say, though, even about two or 300, you've got to start somewhere, Janet. But, but you can't only invite friends that are in the group, can't you? Yes. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, yeah, so if it's you your group. event link and you can do it for the rest of the group members join at that, mm -hmm. join it yeah. through the link. But you'll never, you'll never ever get all your group members joining in a party. Yeah. Um, and, you know, you'll and if get... you do tell us how you did it, <laughs> <laughs> if anybody does that, you, I mean, Louise and Trisha and everybody, not, I mean, for anybody who do, doesn't know um, the Selling Aside their team, like Kate's team, like we've, we've done online like forever, like everybody else, but Kate's team in particular is really successful. Trisha, Louise, uh, Frank Devine does brilliant. Um, Mary Claire and Mary. Stewart, Claire Mayer, and I'm now trying to remember everybody, Kate, have I missed anybody out? Because you I can't miss anybody out because they all do brilliant. And then, and, you know, and I would say a big part of the sales this period would have been online. And period one or two, the team did three and a half thousand pounds online. Online. Same for last period, Kate. I think you were round about that figure. But the mm -hmm. figures are changing at the last minute. We got muddled up. We thought it was two seven, but it actually ended up with well over three thousand. Please, I need yeah. to go back and check it. Claire, 
Um, we claim Mayor did three event case star. Was it star? Just you were just star five hundred, Claire. Yeah. Well, <coughs> do you know the now? We claimed that star five hundred. Uh, that's the five hundred. Is she there? Yeah. Yeah. It was a five hundred. I knew you for the staff 500. I could see the figures <laughs> on the sheet, but well I, done, I, I, Thank I you. because I had it on speaker view and now it's going to everybody and I can't see you either. But the, I mean, the sales are there online if you do it. It has to become a, a basically um, an integral part of your business. When we start people up, the first thing they do is set up their Facebook group. Um, and then obviously we want people to set up pages, but we focus on the group first and then the page second. And the main reason we do a group is because a group captures people. You're building your online customer base in your group and the marketplace and your buy and sell groups and your blanket drops, <laughs> if that makes sense. That's where you're hooking in and finding your customers and what have you. Anybody else anything question. they want to ask for that? I've got a quick question. Yeah, whose voice was that? Was that Arthur? Or did... Who's that? Sorry, identify yourself. I think it was and... Patrick Lynn. Yeah. Hiya, Patrick. Sorry, it's not showing the speaker view, right? Patrick. I've got you there. Hiya. How long can a party last? Can it last a few days? Give it a time limit? Or does it have to be one day? As long as you want. You can have it as long right. as you pick. Yeah. Right. I so think the longer you leave it, the less likely it would be successful, if I'm honest. I think you're better to set a time limit as on, as in like midnight that night or say within 24 hours. You know, I agree with that. I agree yeah. with that. But you, Louise. Louise uh -huh. did one a couple of weeks ago, didn't you, where you posted for an hour in the afternoon and then another hour at night within the same party? I did, that's right. That's yeah. a good night. That Did actually worked quite quick. well, but it was, it was a lot of work. It was quite... Ah, uh, uh, you had to work <laughs> um, Because I had to have so many posts done for the afternoon and so many done for night time. And, but it did work, it brought in quite a lot of sales up. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. If you think about it, Patrick, yeah. when you do a party, you probably normally, and I mean, uh, uh, Trisha and Louise and myself have all read the party books, but normally they recommend about seven days notice, right? So um, I'm saying a wee bit shorter at the moment because of lockdown, because people are bored. You could probably could do it, and you guys can tell me if I'm wrong, Louise and Trisha. You could probably do it, say, I'm doing a party tomorrow and get quite a good to get the result because people are more bored. But in that seven days, like you're having a party in seven days, you're posting products all the way up to the lead to your party in the event. And you will get pre-party sales. And the thing about pre-party sales is especially if you're using a host, Trisha, this is a wee tip. I used to do parties and house parties. I've done loads of them for every for more than Viva and Clinize. But um one of our products demonstrated that does sell, by the way. <laughs> but um, but pre people, if a host is having a party and she invites Trisha and Trisha can't attend it or doesn't want to go, Trisha feels guilty and gives her a free party sale. I, I get quite a that way, so I did. And I only gave two days notice as well with that party. So That's right, because That's you were nice. just, that's right, because something happened to be your last one. But normally it's about five to seven days. So you build, you're putting stuff in that, in that event every day. So really that's how long the party lasts. But the actual event itself, we usually recommend about 45 minutes to now. Would anybody disagree with that? Yeah, an hour's long enough, I yeah. think it's a, you don't want them to get fed up and you want, to, them, you want them to be left one and more. Do you know what I mean? Can I quickly yeah. ask a question? Yes, of course you can. How are you, Jane? Can I see you though? Um, the the products you're posting prior to, then, yeah. prior to your party, would you post those products um, to the in the event or in your shop, or would you leave the products you're going to use on the night of the party until the party? I posted some just before the party, Jane, um, but then I left most of them for the actual party okay. because you've got your captured audience <clears throat> then as well. Yeah. 
Definitely. Uh, Sorry, here's a good idea. Um, If you've not got a Facebook page, set one up. Um, I do prefer groups because, in fact, we can capture people, but pages have their own benefits. And the one thing is they are open. But if you do a party, like I can set up a party with my page. So Lynn Max online parties can set, set up a party on my page and I can share that into my Lynn Max online shop and other groups on Facebook that I'm admin on. Do you know what I mean? So that it's like, I know you do them in your group, and I, and I think we we'll all do them a lot of times in our group. But uh, we can also, uh, because you're looking at spa expanding the net, because if somebody has a party for you, you can ask them, do you mind if I share that in my page or my group? Which obviously we're wanting them to do. <laughs> we're kind of, we don't really want to say, do you mind? We're just being polite. <laughs> we're going to share this. <laughs> um. Mm -hmm. uh, somebody else had a question. I heard the male voice earlier, that didn't he? Or was Patrick? You got answered. Anybody can else? Can I say something? Of course you can, Esther. When Richard was in the hospital at the beginning of the week, one little bit of good news I did get was that I got an order for £83.50p, which was the biggest order I've had so far. Yay! 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 Well done, oh, Esther. Oh, was that online? <laughs> No, it was um, one of my friends rang me up and gave me a whole list of things she wanted. Good, she went oh. to them, have you actually showed her the products? I will. <laughs> was it a catalogue or was it online from her? A catalogue. But on, on the phone. Well done. Well done. Absolutely it. brilliant. Um, was that a question? No? No? We've got two minutes. So Patrick Who was it? Sorry. Question. Yes, of course, Jane. No, Patrick has another oh, question. Oh, Patrick. Sorry. Go ahead. Yeah. By the way, Patrick, I'm not Obviously, speaking individual speakers. Do you, do you, I'm sorry. Do you, do you set the event as public on Facebook? No. I set, I set oh, members. Right. That broke up, Tisha. Did everybody hear that? No. I'd say it mine is private. You've got more control of who's coming into your group. If you set the event, if you set it as public, then there's people there that's maybe just in for a nosy and they're not going to buy. But at least if you invite people, you know exactly who's going to be coming. And it's mostly your customers you're inviting anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Excellent. Um, we're, at, we're at 1957. Has anybody got any more questions? At 1958, we're going to join the nation. I don't know if everybody's doing it. It was Jeff yeah. Bell that told me, Colonel Tom, who's been given a Colonel title, and um, should have got his MBE instead. I mean, and I hope he got his birthday card for the Queen. He wants us tonight for his birthday, instead of clapping for him, which a lot of people were saying, he wants everybody to take two minutes silence for the National Health Service. And it'll be something that's going to be recorded, me being silent for two minutes. It's going to be really hard. <laughs> yeah, you've got 30 seconds. Um, I saw it on a video um, today that um, on Good Morning, Captain Tom was given the Pride of Britain Award as well. Oh, excellent. It's 1950. We can chat about that after. Let's uh, join the nation and be in two minutes silence and then we'll go outside and make a noise. Thank 
I'm still going. That wee family loves to make noise, so they're in an element at this time every night. Genuinely, though, that claps for a reason. It's for a <coughs> But because our National Health Service and the job that they're doing is amazing, they're putting the lives on the line for us. It's the hardest two minutes in my life, but it's well worth it to show their appreciation. And what were you saying, Angela, about Cop Carol Tom before we go? He's had, did somebody say he's been given another reward? Nobel Peace Prize or something? Did think uh, Angel... Pride of Britain Award, Angela mentioned. Pride of Britain Award. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah. Well deserved. Yeah, Thanks very absolutely. Oh, yeah. Thanks very much, everybody. Trisha, yeah, thank, you. thank you so much. That was an excellent training. I didn't touch the slides. She did it with her wonderful wee hands. Thanks, Louise, for the help. And thanks to everybody for being here. Give everybody a clap. Thank you. And we'll see you all next Thursday. See you all next Thursday. Thank you, Thursday. Thank you everybody. Thank you. Bye. Thanks, everybody. Stay all Monday. 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 Viva and Kay, we're going to do this. Get the online sales piling in. <laughs> bye, Bob. Bye, Andrew. Bye, bye. Bye, everybody. Bye. Take care. Take care, Thanks, everybody. Bye, everybody. Bye, bye. See you bye. Bye, Mom. bye, Kate. Bye, uh. bye everybody. I'm going to leave. I'm going to give a glass of wine. <laughs> <laughs> bye, everybody. Bye, Mom. 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 <laughs> see you on next Thursday, guys. Buddy. Brilliant Bye. training. Good to see so many. See you tomorrow night. Jeff and yeah. Alice doing a training. Yeah. You need tomorrow. to watch that. Um, Scott, are you still there? I've got. A, I mean, we did mention it. It's on the, the. It's on the official group. It's, it's at eight o'clock. 
I'll check. Okay. Cause the, it's on the official uh, group. I meant to mention it. Um, because Jeff and Ali's done nineteen hundred pounds this month, which is phenomenal. So they're doing a training tomorrow, seven or eight, on the line, on the official group. I'll find out if you remind me, Amanda, okay. and I'll post okay. it into the I'll, I'll post I'll post it into the eighteen group. Okay, thank you, thank you. Right. See you all later. See, ya. See Bye. everybody. Bye. 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 time. <laughs> Hi everybody, I'm through here. How's this doing? <laughs> See you all next Thursday, guys. Thanks for joining us. <laughs>